Hey guys, first of all, please ignore the mess of my recording setup. Um, I've got quite a few things to put away into the uh, leaning tower of Pops <laughs> um, or Pops Olympus. So uh, I thought I'd start a little series of reviewing fake Pops. Um, I did have a Pop keychain, um, but I seem to have misplaced it, so I'll find out in the video. Um, but this one is a very interesting one. And so this is my first pop, uh, fake pop, and I'm buying ones I definitely know are fake, either through their price, um, their design, their box, hilarity ensues sometimes. There's something I'm going to buy when I get paid that Collector and Boxer actually linked me to. So I'll definitely be buying these, but this is the first one I've got turned around for a reason. Um, and it's Hello Kitty. And if you're in the pop community, Hello Kitty can be quite an expensive pop to find. So that's why I got this one. Um, first of all... First impressions at the back, it, the artwork looks really good. As you can see, there's a little bit of damage in the box, which isn't too bad, considering it came in a plastic bag. So all in all, not too bad. The side, nice artwork. Again, a little bit more damage up top. It's a little bit creased there. Now, for the front. Yeah. No plastic on the inside. All crumpled up there. All in all, it, it, the box is very, very close to the original. But as you can see, it's very scarce of information on the bottom compared to any other pop. So, it is very, very scarce. But not a million miles away. If you'd looked at it from a glance, you would have thought it was official Funko. So, now we will open it up. This is the actual, the pop is not going to stay in its box. Um, my niece will get the actual fake pop and she can play with that. Um, because she, <laughs> she's six. She's not going to care about reels or fakes. So, that's what the actual pop looks like. And all in all, it's a really nice re reproduction. Again, if, if it's safe, it's for a kid or something like that. It's, it's a really nice figure. It feels like a pop. Smells like a pop, so it does look real. The only thing that's a big giveaway is the Made in China on the bottom of the feet. Compared to, say, Zero. Again, it feels the exact same. Hello, obviously, Hello Kitty's a little bit heavier. But he has some dirt on the bottom of, of his body. don't know if you can see it. All the Funko details. Compared to the reproduction of Made in China. So, automatically, pops are not made in China. The boxes are made in China, but the pops themselves are made in Vietnam. Well, some pops were made in China, I think. Most of them were made in Vietnam. So, a lot of their, um, their feet will say made in Vietnam and their boxes. So, all in all, this is actually a really, really nice fake. Um, it looks exactly like the pop did. Feels real. It feels sturdy. Um, I would trust somebody with it. Um, the box is... Ba oh, wait, basically, all the box would be is photocopied and printed out. But all in all, it's a really nice fake. Um, definitely, my niece is going to get this. She can play with that. Um, I'm not too fussed with that. Altogether, I got this from AliExpress. Um, I paid £4 for it. So, for a kid's toy, that's all it will really be useful for. It can't be used for collecting. It doesn't come with a plastic insert. Can't really display it out apart from in the box but for nice for a reproduction of an elusive pop for four pounds it's not bad um i don't advise giving money to scammers and like people who make fakes but again it's a really nice one um i need to try and find the other one because it's a keychain that i bought for two pounds i'll definitely be using the keychain um and that one again it's a really nice reproduction um, so when I get paid, it's a couple more that I'm going to buy, and this is when it's get. Hopefully, when they come, it'll be getting into the worst of the fakes, like some getting bad. So this is the first one, and again, it's a really nice fake. Um, yeah. So hopefully, continue the series for a little bit longer.